Once Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp experienced a major outage that lasted for several hours. This had an interesting consequence, Pornhub saw a significant increase of 10.5% in traffic. Let's put this into perspective. For every hour that Facebook services were down, Pornhub gained around 500,000 additional users. No other social network or streaming service even comes close to this. Pornhub boasts a staggering 130 million users per day, which is reportedly more than Netflix or Amazon. In fact, it is said to have over 3 billion monthly users. It's safe to say that the world has a strong affinity for adult content. It's everywhere, and Pornhub proudly holds the title of the world's largest adult streaming website. However, there are some lesser known facts about this famous platform. Our initial Our initial question was, with so much free content available, how do they manage to make money? Well, it turns out that they resort to some questionable practices, including revenge porn and even child pornography, all in the pursuit of higher revenue. It's a dark and disturbing path that we stumbled upon during our investigation. The pornographic industry has a dominant presence in society, accounting for 30 to 35 percent of all downloaded and streamed content on the web. At this very moment, there are 29,000 people watching adult content, and a staggering 68 million searches related to pornography are made on Google every single day. Pornhub cleverly capitalizes on this global addiction. Despite being overshadowed by Facebook and Google, it consistently ranks in the top 10 websites with the most social impact. However, if you've ever visited this site, you'll know that there is an abundance of free content available. One would assume that a subscription is unnecessary. It just doesn't make sense to pay for porn. Yet, we can't help but wonder how such a massive company manages to finance itself. And that's where Mind Greek comes in. You know, Pornhub is just one piece of the puzzle that is MindGeek, a massive umbrella company. If you haven't heard of MindGeek, don't worry, you're not alone. But if you visit their website, you'll see that they specialize in content delivery and advertising. However, it's no secret that MindGeek's main focus is on adult content. Now, some may argue whether that's a good or bad thing. In theory, it shouldn't be a problem, but the reality is that it is. After YouTube became a part of our lives, it was only a matter of time before someone came up with an adult version. And it wasn't just one site, but many that emerged during that time. Sites like RedTube and YouPorn offered free content and relied on advertisements for revenue. They earned a small amount for each click, but with so many people watching, they were able to make a decent living. The number of viewers only grew year after year. Before these sites, purchasing adult content was a straightforward business. Buy and use it. But tube sites changed the game completely. And that's where Matt Caesar enters the picture. If his name sounds like a stage name, well, it does, but it's actually his real name. He created Interhub, a company focused on tube content, and one of the brands under it was adult content. There was also two other buddies, Stefan and Yosef, who come up with Brazzers. The company grew significantly, catching the attention of Fabian Tillman, a talented connoisseur. Tillman had developed a tracking software that allowed businesses to monitor advertising links and clicks. This enabled companies to charge commissions based on these interactions. After purchasing several European sites, he set his sights on Interhub and acquired it as well. While the exact amount remains a rumor, it was believed to be a staggering $140 million acquisition. Now, Tillman had a porn empire under his belt, including popular platforms like Pornhub and browsers. He ensured that his company, Manwin, was reputable and even launched safe sex campaigns. Additionally, he licensed 22,000 DVDs from small companies through Product Hunt. It seemed like the company was on its way to legitimacy. Tillman also took significant steps to combat piracy by implementing anti-piracy fingerprinting. These efforts paid off, as Manwin's earnings increased by 40% in less than a year, with Cornhunt being the primary driver of this growth. The company even acquired the rights to Playboy Digital Rams, solidifying their position in the industry. However, in 2010, Tillman surprised everyone by announcing his decision to sell his shares in the porn empire he had built. With a staggering 88 billion video views, it was clear that everyone was watching. Manwin executives would eventually buy him out, marking the end of an era. However, he has now sold his shares, and the company has rebranded as MindGeek. From 2013 onwards, Pornhub rose to become the largest pornographic website in the world. The website experienced a staggering 60 billion visits in 2023. That's an average of 160 million visits per day. But here's the catch the company still hasn't obtained consent from everyone who appears in their videos. Now, let's get back to the burning question how on earth do they make money? Well, it wasn't a one-man show. While Tillman played a significant role in the company's growth, he relied heavily on investors. 
A total of 125 individuals and companies invested a staggering $360 million, along with $1 million in debt, to fuel the expansion of this adult entertainment empire. Some notable investors include JP Morgan, Fortress Investment Group, and believe it or not, Cornell University, although they dropped out in 2016. This indicates that investors played a crucial role in driving the company's growth. MindGeek, the parent company of Pornhub, is now a private entity, so we don't have access to their actual numbers. However, it is estimated that they will generate around $416 million in revenue for 2021. And here's the kicker, a major chunk of their revenue comes from advertisements and subscriptions. It's fascinating to think that people are willing to pay for something that is readily available for free. Subscriptions offer an ad-free experience, remove annoying pop-ups, and provide additional content. It seems like some things never change those who were willing to pay for porn in the past are still willing to do so now, and it looks like this trend will continue. But let's not forget the sheer magnitude of this empire. MindGeek, and consequently Pornhub, is a true monopoly in the industry. In fact, all their affiliated companies combined consume more bandwidth than Twitter, Amazon, and even Facebook. However, there are issues which shows the company's darker side. It involves explicit content, where individuals expose themselves and engage in sexual acts. These videos eventually find their way onto numerous porn sites without the consent of those involved. Within this vast ocean of perversion, there are truly disturbing things. Instances of rape, bestiality, and even murder can be found. As Pornhub gained popularity, it attempted to moderate the content but it needs to do more for this vast volume of data. MindGeek's vastness allowed this content to persist on certain websites under their umbrella. This situation shed light on the challenge that Pornhub faced with moderation. The media outcry prompted Pornhub to take action and remove videos involving sex trafficking, rape, or non-consensual acts. The impact was staggering, as their video library went from 13,500,000 to under 3 million in just a few days. However, the problem runs deeper than just financial consequences. Pornhub represents the epitome of a human dichotomy. However, these individuals are merely a fraction of the issue at hand. The true concern lies with the individuals who consume this content and that why Pornhub will exist in future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.